Today we're making keto-friendly stuffed bell peppers. I did find this recipe on Pinterest and we'll leave a link to it down in the description box below. To get started, wash and dry three bell peppers. You don't have to use all green, red and yellow are fine too. Slice your bell peppers in half and then carefully gut the insides. Once all of your bell peppers look like this, we're going to place them in our baking dish. I'm using an 8x11 baking dish. Depending on how big your bell peppers are, you might need to go up a size. Lightly sprinkle your bell peppers in black pepper and salt. I'm using garlic salt. Next, we're going to dice up half a yellow onion. I misplaced my yellow onion. I know I bought one. <laughs> it's somewhere. Not sure where. A white onion works too. Also, dice up two garlic cloves. To a hot pan over medium high heat, we're going to cook one pound of ground beef. Season it with some sprinklings of black pepper and salt. Once your ground beef is cooked, go ahead and drain off any excess grease and set that aside. To the same pan, we're going to add in some butter and saute our onions and two cups of riced cauliflower. You can find this riced cauliflower in the freezer section of your grocery store. Go ahead and let that cook for about four to five minutes. Add in your garlic and let that cook for about a minute or two. It's time to add in our liquids. We're gonna to toss in one and a fourth cup of marinara sauce. The recipe suggests purchasing a sugar-free marinara sauce if you wanna keep this keto. Add in one teaspoon of dried basil half a teaspoon of salt, I'm using garlic salt, and one fourth teaspoon of black pepper. Give everything a quick mix. Lastly, add in half a cup of shredded cheese. I'm using mozzarella cheese. Add in your ground beef. Now it's time to stuff the bell peppers. Take your bell pepper and spoon in enough filling to cover the top. Once all of the peppers are stuffed, sprinkle on some shredded cheese. I'm using a mixed blend here. Cover your dish with some foil. If you're worried about the cheese sticking to the foil, you can spray the underside of the foil with some non-stick cooking spray. Into the oven at 350 degrees for 30 minutes. And here they are. I was pleasantly surprised how tasty this recipe turned out. It was relatively quick to make and packed full of flavor. The bell pepper wasn't as tender as I'd like, so next time I'll probably leave it in the oven for another 10 minutes or so. I did find this recipe on Pinterest and I will leave a link to it in the description box below. Thanks for watching and if you liked this video I hope you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.